Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, snow's flying, so it's ski season, and ski season means I'm tinkering around, you know, moving bindings back and forth between different skis. Um, and that often involves drilling holes in the skis. And it's a very precise operation um, because you have to get the ski depth, ski hole, or the screw hole depth just perfect. If you don't, you can mess up the ski pretty bad. Um, and one of the things that I used to do, uh, well, I used to be a ski tech, so I ended up using the right equipment, but, you know, haven't done that in a while. I used to put, I'd mark it and then put tape over the drill bit and then try to just drill to that tape. Um, and this year I've got a bunch of projects, so what I wanted was a depth gauge that I could add. And I, what I found was an inexpensive solution for various size drill bits in these um, DeWalt countersinking um, drill bits. So this one here, the, the rapid load has these um, indentations for the quarter inch hex. I don't care one way or the other, um, but that's what that means. But anyway, it's got the, the 6, 8, and 10 sized for uh, these three different drill bits. Um, and then I also got this small one um, that, you know, sometimes the smallest breaks, but also because I wanted to um, have a different option on the end. Let me show that to you. So what I've got, this is what it's supposed to do. So basically it's a drill bit and you put the depth gauge where you want it. Let's say right there. And then I've got two Allen screws here to tighten it down. And then in this case, in this configuration, this is designed to drill in and then countersink at this point. Um, so then the screw head is flush with whatever mounting surface. What I do, what I'm doing here, is taking this and sliding it off and putting it on uh, backwards, just like this, and then I can get the actual depth that I want for the ski, and then it will go no further. Now, one of the problems with the drill bits that come with them is they're tapered, and I cannot afford to have that much taper in the drill bit there. So, what I'm going to do is get one of my other drill bits, you know, designed um, for more conventional cutting, and I can slide that in there. And then when I get the depth that I need for the screw, line that up. And no more than that. So then I can snug those down, and there it is. So then I can put that into my drill and drill to the proper depth um, with, without much hesitation. So I have a couple of in the number 10s. Um, what I have is a larger size here and the smaller size here. They're calling this one a replacement for some reason right here. Um, but what I wanted uh, is just a simple solution and as I was looking around there were some limiters but um, you know most of them were pretty big and kind of bulky uh, I wanted various sizes um, this one and this one are actually the same I believe but this one's a much more lower profile when I put it on backwards but you can see the cutting heads are very similar right there getting a little bit of too much light get rid of that see if that helps um, but anyway, these guys here, that's a tremendous solution. Just pull it off, reverse it, screw it on here, um, and then go to work. So that's the solution I found with these two DeWalt um, countersink bit options. And with that, dock out.